what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is madison and welcome welcome if you're new um obviously it has been a while the last video that i posted i don't know what live over a month ago you know what life has been absolutely crazy and i want to update you on it um but first don't forget to obviously like the video obviously subscribe to the channel because it really does help and i have some really exciting stuff planned for you guys um i'm just like on cloud nine so uh, first what i am going to tell you brace yourself if you don't follow me on instagram then you won't exactly know or if you're just seeing this as you're browsing or we bought a house crazy 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 so <laughs> It's pretty much just gonna be a whole talking video about the process that we took and what we kind of went through to find the right house for us and whatnot. So it's not gonna be too long because I don't want to bore you. And obviously there's gonna be fun stuff where I'm gonna do an empty house tour and I'm gonna do like a whole like how I furnish certain rooms and how I pick furniture and how I find things that go together so on and so forth obviously you guys know I am a designer so that is what I do so it is going to be a lot of fun we literally have boxes everywhere I've started packing because y'all know that you do not want to be packing the night before or the week before it takes me time I literally am that type of person that needs to pack like you know two to three boxes at a time we hired movers this time we are not moving ourselves that is the first thing I'm going to tell you. Let's get into it. I'm going to explain things like, you know what, kind of step by step and like where things kind of started taking place. I'm going to probably have to look at my phone because I am starting to forget when things actually happened because it's just been all a blur. Like that's what the last month has actually been. It has been a freaking blur. Okay. So first today is may 31st we get possession of our house june 25th and that is only like three and a bit weeks away not even a full month anymore so that is what's more nuts than anything going back um pretty much just like early a like you know what i'm just gonna be honest like we moved in here into this apartment october of 2020 with the idea that we were gonna stay here for about two years that was really the intention was to be here for a little bit so we could kind of figure out like where we wanted to live and did we want to live in a house did we want to keep living in an apartment did we want to have a condo and like you know what everything was just like obviously the situation going on we're not moving across the country we're not moving to a different country at the moment like we're just we're gonna stay here for at least a few years if not more and we're gonna keep the property anyway so pretty much um we started i started really looking like in january like december january just to kind of see like what was popping up and like i made the connection with our realtor to like start getting some listings sent to us to see what was even available and what even we kind of gravitated towards like and this is the thing i i had this like very like picturesque image that we were going to get this mid-century modern house and you know what we were going to redo it do lots of renos and we were going to really make it our own can you guys tell that that is not what happened at all <laughs> so when there's two people in a relationship you learn very quickly what the limits of each other are and my limits were obviously very different than my partner's limits um and basically so my limits were i don't care we can just redo everything like it'll be so fun it'll be a super cool project and we'll have like a totally cool project to show um show people and like i can you know post about it and blog about it and like kind of show the whole process well <laughs> that is not the same as my partner Stefan. his limits were he wanted a brand new house on a piled foundation and you know what everything brand new like so that he didn't have to worry about anything so can you see how our two uh brains were not meshing at that moment 
So basically what it took was in back in April, the start of April, we started looking, we were like, okay, well, let's just get in touch with the realtor. So we had a nice meeting with our realtor. She's great. Um, and she ended up booking a bunch of viewings at different houses. Once we dealt with broker, got all of our things, paperwork sorted out, we were allowed to go see these houses. So we went and we were seeing, I don't remember if it was five or six houses, but we added on another house. Let's just say it was six. I don't really remember. Either way, it was a lot of houses in one day. Okay, so in the neighborhoods that we had kind of gravitated towards, a lot of the houses were already older houses. So the majority of what is going to be on those listings was older homes. And with my partner wanting a newer home, you can already see how much that dwindled the, um, the amount of listings. So <laughs> granted, we were open-minded. He was still open-minded. We went and actually saw a bunch of older homes. So we started with all of these older homes. And you just know, I'm being honest, the second you walk into a house, you know if it's not the house or if it is the house. Like there is no like, oh, you'll make it work. Like if you really don't like it, do not get that house. That is something that we were just like, we learned very quickly. Like I was thinking that a lot of these older homes like, oh yeah, we'll just make it work. You get in the house, like you find out every single problem that that house has. Like I kid you not, the floors were like wavy in some houses and I'm just like, we can't fix that. There is no f way that anybody is gonna fix that. And so that means that the total value of the house will just be lowered. And at the end of the day, like, we don't want to live in a house that we're not happy with. In that example, if a house has a really bad foundation, there's probably other issues too that we just don't know or unaware of, or we're patched up, or we're done improperly, or they hired someone that just didn't know what they were doing. So you're totally like in the dark when it comes to houses like that. So that was just something that we got out of our system really, really fast. It took us like five minutes for some of these homes. We would go in and automatically we were like, okay, this is not our house. So for the first few houses, we did that. And then there were a few um, newer renovated homes. So like most of the homes were in the 50s and earlier and then there was a house that was redone that was from the 80s and then we were looking at a brand new home um so then when we finally got to see the house that was done redone from the 80s it was nice but it just didn't feel right you would walk into this house and honestly i don't have pictures because you're not allowed to actually take pictures of these homes because people do live in them um, so you're just not allowed to um, They usually only have them for listings and then they just don't want other people videoing or anything So I wish I had footage of some of these homes, but unfortunately just for privacy reasons. I will not be showing those homes um, and Once we got to see this like newer renovated house um, we walked in and I was like wow, this is just like a lot of space I was like, what am I gonna do with this? And I, what I mean by a lot of space, I mean by it didn't make sense. Like, I don't know who designed that house in the past, but when you walk in, it just did not make sense. Like, there were areas of the house that you could just not fill. Like, it was just empty, wasted, like you're heating that air for nothing. And that is not something that we wanted. We wanted to be able to have, yes, of course, a larger space than what we're living in now, which we're living in about 800 plus square feet. So it's not really like the biggest space, but we did want something a little bit larger than that. Um, our, the goal was to find something around 1800 to 2000 square feet that would have been very prime and ex like pretty much within the range of what was appropriate for us as two people and our dog. Um, but the house that was built in the 80s and redone, it was like I don't know over 4,000 square feet and the master bedroom was smaller than the master bedroom in our apartment like and there was no closet really there was like one wall and I was just like this does not make any sense like who is who will live in this like I have a lot of clothes y'all know this if you follow me on Instagram and if you know my past like I have a lot of clothes so 
it was just a no-go like we were just like very unimpressed so we left that one unimpressed and then we finally went back not went back we finally got to see this new build in the area that we wanted and I kid you not you guys I was looking at that house for over two months while it was on listings online like I was looking at that house every single day saying like oh that's not the house we want like that's not the house it's not it's not our style like we don't want to live there huh boy was I wrong we walked in the house and we were just like oh my god like we could picture ourselves living here that is the feeling we got I'm not joking like we sat inside like we didn't sit inside but <laughs> we walked inside we walked through the spaces and I was just like oh my god like we could have people over here obviously when we're allowed to um and I was like oh my gosh this would be perfect for my office slash studio space Stefan would have an office and it would just be more than enough room for everybody obviously it was a little bit more room than what we were actually looking for it's like almost 3,000 square feet of livable space so yes it is more but at the same time like eventually we would like to have a family obviously down the road if that's possible so we we're just like you know what like th this just feels like home it really did like we walked in it just felt like home like I love the area Stefan loves the area it's quite central so we're not moving far from actually where our apartment is it's pretty much three minutes down the road but it, it just like ticked every single box for both of us as much as it's not like my mid-century modern house of dreams over here but it was just like Stefan was happy I was happy I knew that we could like that could be made into something even more like we just are tweaking a few things and obviously I'm like I said, I'm taking you on that journey with me. And there are still things that are being finished on the house. That's why we're not moving in until the end of June to just like make that clear. So we didn't want to live in a construction site and the whole house is getting repainted. Um, if I have a clip, I think I have a clip and I'll post it here, but a little bit longer, but then I'll hopefully be able to show you guys a few more snippets of things here and there it doesn't really do it justice for me to show you guys something that's prior to being really done I'll I'll put up as many photos as I can here just so you can see it but we are excited and I can't wait to show you guys more of the process yeah anyway so that is gonna be the end of this video I hope you enjoyed all of my jibber jabber and rambling about that there's definitely a lot more to it than what i just talked about obviously in the last like bit but um we can definitely i can definitely get more in depth so if you guys do want me to talk more about the whole house hunting process and things to look for and like how you should think about what you want in a home i can definitely make more videos about that um just comment down below and then yeah, stay tuned for the next ones. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel, please. I would appreciate it. And so would Miss Luna. Yes, so would Miss Luna. Yes. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. See you later.